ladies and gentlemen. There's no way anyone beats him. Your Fortnite World Champion, Booga! Smokes. Yeah, double smokes in the same place there. Simple just jumping casually into the side. He's gonna fall down again. Oh, right. What is this touch from Simple? Are you serious? What is that? You can't do that, Simple. That's not allowed. This is not FPL. This is a major. Ah, uh, is tense. He's got the frenzy. And he's got a oh. kill. Man. All up in Moose's face. And he's getting a jumping one as well on the beef. I said this the first time I called tense. This is his world, and we're just living in it. It's oh my goodness. How does he do this? How does he go do it again? Can anyone be an esports pro? I recently got into playing Valorant, which is a pretty competitive game by nature. And after watching some pro play, it got me wondering, can anyone playing the game eventually practice and get good enough to become a pro? And what role natural ability has in esports in general? I mean, if you look at people like It's Timmy, who is radiant in Valorant, Red in Apex, is just generally really good at every game he touches. Shroud, who has gone pro in both CS and Valorant, and is pretty much known for being amazing at any FPS he picks up. How are these people just naturally good at any game they touch sometimes it feels like they have a competitive advantage over other people i don't think the average joe could pick up a game and do what it's timmy's done so what goes into being naturally good at a game Obviously, mechanics are definitely a huge part of it. There's things like eyesight, reaction time would be big, your hand-eye coordination, your ability to make small muscle adjustments to control a mouse or a controller. Those are physical things that you can train, although some people do just naturally have better reaction times and coordination. Your age also affects this. Another big part would be memorization and your ability to process feedback. So say you're playing a game, you do something stupid, you die and you lose the game. Your ability to process that feedback would determine whether you make the same stupid mistake again in the next game. Again, these are things that some people are definitely naturally better at. I mean, look at school for an example. Some people just naturally find it easier to get better grades because of things like how they process feedback, their memory, stuff like that. Now, that's not to say that esports pros just naturally have what it takes. They put in thousands of hours into their respective games to become the best at what they do. And obviously it takes huge dedication and a lot of practice to perfect certain skills. I mean, the saying is practice makes perfect for a reason. I definitely don't think it's 50-50, like half of it's your natural ability and half of it is what you practice. It's definitely mostly practice. Anybody could pick up a game, put in a ton of hours, practice each mechanic, learn everything there is about game sense. And sure, they might not be able to go pro, but they can get really damn good. I think natural ability comes in when you have a little bit of it already to start off. And on top of that, you put in the hours, you practice a lot, and that's what takes these pros to the next level. Looking at some of the things pros have done, it's just absolutely insane, and I can't see just anyone doing them. So I think it does definitely play a part, but it's not everything. Have a good day.